Previously on Origins Nook, I showed you how I used these popsicle sticks to create four amazing wall decor. If you haven't watched this video yet, make sure to check it out right after today's video. For today's video, let's get right into it. Sure will. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my page or to my channel wherever you're watching. My name is Nora G and for today's video, we're going right into it. So I'll be showing you how I used Dollar Tree ornaments to create some home decor. So this is DIY number one, let's get into it. All right, so I got a bunch of these large ornaments from the Dollar Tree, which I'll be using to create some homemade sculptures. So just watch as I do this. Well, if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my Nook family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you all. So first things first, I'm cutting out the top part of the ornaments just to give it a well-rounded look and from that area, I'm going to go ahead to glue them together using my hot glue. You could also use any other strong adhesive of your choosing. I do recommend using E6000 glue or Gorilla glue for long-lasting hold. Overall, I'll be using six of these large um, ornaments to create a sculpture. So I'm going to have to do one, two, and then three stacked together, as you would see. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, even though I'm using hot glue, you can use a stronger adhesive like this glory look glue to put them together. It's just, it just would take longer to cure or dry properly, but once that is done, uh, this is going nowhere. It is going to be way sturdier than using hot glue. All right, so I have all three of them set. Like I said, there are six balls that I'm using for this. I will go ahead to spray paint this ivory using my Design Master spray and then use make it stone to give it some texture. All right, so I also use some white chalk over it just to have some strokes. That's just personal preference. And you could also use any other color of your choosing. I used white. And the base, I used gold. And these are also from the Dollar Tree. So this was nighttime and I had to bring them in to get to cure properly. I didn't want them to stay out overnight. I went ahead and did the make it stone over it to give it some texture and allowed it to dry for about 12 hours. And this is our final look. What do you think? Please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this particular DIY. And also at the end of this video, if you can let me know which of these was your absolute favorite, I would like to know. Of all four of these DIYs, do let me know which one was your favorite. Now on to DIY number two. For DIY number two, I'll be using the complete opposite of the first ornament, so the very small ornamental balls. I also got these from the Dollar Tree and this is how small they look. So I'll be taking apart the top part, this area, using my pincher. All right, so it's very easy. That comes off very easy when you use this. So I'll go ahead and take that off on all of the balls before I will proceed with our next DIY. Okay, so I'll keep this aside for another DIY sometime. And now our balls are ready for our design. So I'm choosing to use this plate base as some kind of measurement to actually put the balls together just so I have a good gauge of how this is going. Well guys, as you can see, if you forced right up to this point, I would love it if you can comment on the mint, considering the fact that we're using on the mint for today's DIY down below. So please do comment on the mint in the comment section and show your girls some love. 
Well, as you all know, Christmas is around the corner with just a couple of days to Christmas, a few months to Christmas, and why not start using some Christmas items to do some DIYs? So I thought to actually bring this back which I had also already posted sometime on my channel, but I thought why not bring this back again just for a good reminder and also, you know, that you can actually go on to try this this period or after Christmas with your leftover ornaments. All right, so I had turned the plates over just so as I continue to put the balls together, it would take the shape of the ball somehow. Um, that way it's easier and it goes around smoothly and seamlessly. Once again, I'm using hot glue, which actually glued perfectly well with this considering the fact that the ornaments are pretty light but you could also use a stronger adhesive. I recommend using hot glue and once you're done, you use Mod Podge and the brush and paint over it just so it is more sturdier and also give it a perfect shine for a longer time. This is what it looked like once I was done. I also grabbed this square base from the Dollar Tree which I will be painting black. I had gone ahead and used Mod Podge on this and let it dry properly. So I will use my black chalk paint for the base and paint over this. So I'm just using a paper napkin and just dabbing over it. It is very easy and covers pretty smoothly as well. Once I had this completed, I set it aside to also dry properly. You could also use spray paint for this if you want to. Okay, so I'll use my Gorilla Glue as well as my hot glue to attach our top part onto the bottom part. So this onto the base which we just made. So this is pretty sturdy right now, that is cured. But now that the mud watch is cured properly. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you guys our final look. And this is what it looks like. What do you think? Please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this second DIY. Alright, so you can use this as some kind of bowl to drop in your car keys, small um, items around the house, or you could just keep it as is, just like a nice decorative um, a vase or bowl, and it will look just as good. Okay, so guys, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this DIY so far. Also, please do let me know if you like to see more Christmas like DIY content and I'd uh, love to know what your thoughts are about that and what you would like to see. So please do comment below. Okay, so for DIY number three, I will be doing a Lady Santa. Also, this is something I have done on the channel previously and this is a redo or a repost. Um, for those of those of us that are new to the channel okay so i'm uh, taking a, a non-conventional way to door it and decided to do a lady santa to do this i'm just sketching out a face but for those of us who do not know how to draw you can actually use templates which there are tons of these online and then you can go ahead to trace that and then do this as well Of course, I started off using a, using a pencil just so I'm able to erase whenever I made any kind of mistakes. And then I went ahead to use a bold marker to actually trace out my drawing. I also have other videos on how I did this lady center in different colors. So you may want to check the description box for more. Thank you. Okay, so I use cardboard to do this, but you could also use foam board if you want, and that will work just as good. 
So once we're good with this, I will go ahead to cut this out using my cordless electric cutter from Amazon. I have that also linked in the description box below. This is very easy to use. It cuts out pretty quickly. However, you could also use an X-Acto knife or even a scissors for this. It's just with the scissors, the cardboard is quite hard and that could give you blisters easily. Alright, so we have our Lady Santa frame all set and ready and we're going to move on to the next step of this DIY. Now I have this garland um, that I also got from the Dollar Tree. It is quite long so I'll be using just one and using my hot glue I will go ahead to attach this at the base of our Lady Santa's hair to form some kind of hair for her except we're using an artificial garland to do so in the spirit of Christmas if I may add. So just make sure you're actually covering the corners of the cardboard. This should cover properly so that it kind of hides, hides the cardboard somehow um, before we move on to the next step of this particular DIY. Okay, so another option would be to use a whole bunch of this to cover the entire space of her hair and then you just have some small ornaments on there just so it looks like a Christmas tree. But the focus on here is the ornaments. So I'll be using a lot more ornaments in different shapes and sizes and colors as well. But the focus here would be mostly green, gold and red, the traditional Christmas colors because of course she is Lady Santa. So here we go. Start off with the bigger balls and the medium balls and just place them randomly. There's no particular rule book for this so just make sure that you're at least not covering her face but go, go over the hair um, section and just have as many of these balls placed. So the smaller balls will fit in the smaller corners and also the gaps that you can see. So you use the small balls to fit them in there, creating some kind of an organic balloon kind of design. And so um, I'll just carry on and let you watch. Okay, so um, I just went on and on with the smaller balls, making sure that every nook is covered or every gap and holes are all covered. I will use these point centers that I made using this chenille wires. I have a video showing how I did this, so make sure to check it out as well. I use that uh, created a flower for her hair. So this will go in there. I will go on to glue that down using my hot glue. Our lady center is looking pretty guys. I'm loving it. So next up, I went on to add some more balls again uh, until I was satisfied. At this point, it is all personal preference. If you want yours to be as thick and fuller, you can go on and add some more balls. If you want it to just be light, that is up to you. I went ahead to use these icicles um, as well as the snowflakes um, and actually um, put them at the edge of a hair to give it some kind of uh, a crown or tiara. But um, that wasn't the goal, it was just to add some more flair, but it ended up looking like so. Okay, so you have an option to actually add some lights on her hair if you wanted to. I was contemplating using this, but at the end I decided to use that for our next DIY instead. So I went on to add the smaller balls, these are the smaller sizes. These ones are actually foam. It's all foam and it's really light, which I kind of like the idea so that at the end of the day, your lady center is not too heavy to hang on the wall or on your door. All right, guys, so once that was done, 
I use the rest of the garland and cut them out in bits and pieces which I'll be using to accentuate certain areas of our balls just so that it's not completely hidden because at this point you can see that it is no longer noticeable. The first one that we placed is only noticeable at the edges when you look closely. So I will go ahead to add this in there and then uh, next one will be to pass on some of these Mardi Gras beads as well to add some more green. The Mardi Gras beads are actually just an extra for me just because of course you know I love to be extra sometimes. Uh, you could also use gold or red, it depends on you. Uh, or you could choose to not use it at all. I will use these embellishments to create her earrings. Um, I'm gonna cover up the one that I sketched by hand using this. Next up, I will use my darker glue to accentuate her lips to give her some kind of lipstick using some of my sparkling dust as well as her lashes. So do not be afraid to apply a generous amount of Mod Podge or tacky glue on here prior to using your glitter. So once I had that placed as well as for her lashes, I actually allowed this to stay overnight so that it cures properly before I will go on to dust off the excess. Okay, so this sparkling lashes and lips actually got me going guys. I really loved how it turned out. So this was the next day. I already have it all brushed off and I will go ahead to use this stocking also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut it out to create her dress. Just watch as I complete this. Right, so I had that all cut out and we'll go on to create a cozy outfit for our Lady Santa. Using my hot glue, I went on to glue this to my satisfaction. Isn't our Lady Santa looking gorgeous, guys? All right, so yeah, I'll go on to accentuate the upper part of her outfit so she looks somehow like Santa or fit for Santa. <laughs> And then I'll cut off any excesses and then go ahead to glue that onto the back. Well guys, please do let me know down below which of these four DIYs using Christmas ornaments was your favorite. I would love to know. Okay, so... Our Lady Santa is coming pretty good. I will add a bow onto her dress because of course she's a lady. So why not make her look even more ladier? <laughs> anyway, if that is a word. So I went ahead to give her some necklace using the rest of the Mardi Gras bits. And our Lady Santa is looking glam and this is our final reveal. What do you think? I just love how calm she looks. So I went on to try onto my door and she was looking very pretty. This particular DIY went out to one of our subscribers on the page, Patience, and she absolutely loves it. Please do let me know your thoughts down below. Alright guys, so that is it for DIY number 3. So we're gonna move on to DIY number four. But before we do, do not forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying these DIYs so far. Thank you. All right, guys, now on to DIY number four. Now for our final DIY, I'll be using this vase which I made. It's a true farce. As you can see, I have a video for this as well on the channel. How I transform this true vase into this. 
and i love how it looks like an egg a decorative egg so uh you can check it out down below so i will go ahead to do a floral arrangement using christmas ornaments so these are the ornaments i'll be using for this diy some large ones as well which i also got from the dollar tree and a mixture of picks some from the dollar tree some from michael's and i will go ahead and get started so for this i'm keeping the colors very soft so i'm using just some champagne some gold some rose gold and some blush to create this as well as some silver so first things first, I went on to stuff the bottom of the vase because it's quite deep. I just used some greenery and some styrofoam uh, just so I'm able to stick stuff into it uh, without it going all the way to the bottom. So I'll also use the skewers to actually put my ornaments into them prior to placing them in my vase. Just watch as I do this. All right, so this skewer was kind of small for this particular one, so I used two of them and then went ahead to glue it down using my hot glue. So I will start off with the picks. I'll just have a bunch of them on in there to get started. At this point, you may want to tweak and bend on some of your picks just so it fits properly. This is all up to you, personal preference and also the kind of vase you're using. If the vase has a wide mouth, yes, you want to be careful how you're putting in your picks. If it's a narrower uh, mouth vase, you also want to be careful so that it's not all clumped together. So once I had my picks put in, the next I'll be putting the medium sized balls um, onto my skewers, which I'll go ahead to put into our arrangement. Just watch as I complete this. All right, so this is quite easy to have the skewers all put in together on the balls prior to putting them in the vase. Now that we're set, I'll go ahead to place them in there at random. Once again, there's no rule book to this. Just put in as many as you can, but just be careful as well. Keep gauging as you do this, so that it looks beautiful to you, okay? I love how this is coming along. So um, I'll go ahead to add some more. However, at this point, I would love to know what your, Christmas, your favorite Christmas colors are or Christmas color combination. If you can comment that down below so we can get to chit chat, I would love so. Alrighty. So yeah, at this point, uh, our grass is coming together, but I'm going to make some adjustments as I go on to add some more ornaments as well as some more Christmas picks to this. The whole idea is to not have too many gaps in between, so you may want to fill that up with some picks or with some ornaments. Okay, so yeah, this is looking pretty good. I will go ahead to make adjustments as I deem fit prior to adding any more um, of the picks or the ornaments. To let me know which of these was your favorite, please do comment down below. So next up, I'll be using this garland of different shapes and sizes of um, ornaments some of them were foam that i also got from michael's on sales so i will use these to cover some of the gaps on there and just pass it around our arrangement i love the touch that this added to our arrangement guys if you do not have this you can actually also use mardi gras beads at this point So 
I love that this actually this actually ties in with the colors that I'm currently using for this particular arrangement as well. Okay, as you can see, our arrangement is coming along, but there are some gaps on there. I will go on to add some more ornaments where I didn't fit some with hot glue and some with the, uh, the skewers just to make sure that there are no gaps in between that every gap is actually filled in and tada this is what it looked like prior to me adding any lights to it so these are the lights that i showed you earlier on uh, we're using this as well to add some more flair to this and this is what it looks like once i added the lights to it This is actually a pack of 12 bulbs, so I'll be using just one. If you do not have the exact kind of ornamental lights, you could also use any other battery operated lights and that should be just fine. And guys, this is what it looks like once we had the lights added to it. What do you think? I just love how this turned out guys I am loving this so this is it without any lights on and this is it at daytime once again do let me know which of these was your absolute favorite guys which of the four DIYs did they use in Dollar Tree ornaments was your absolute favorite and with that said, that will bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.